Hello, there's a siren, don't worry. It's, I don't think it's coming from me, although sometimes I'm a little bit hot. Maybe I need some medical attention. Um, anyway, but I'm here to, and making a video. Uh, this is a really, this is like a really good topic and I totally like started talking about a siren. But here's the, here's the, here's a scenario. This scenario will come up for you in your life if you choose to make things that happen in a web browser. Let's say you have this page that you have designed and it has a whole lot of content on it. Par pages and pages of paragraphs, paragraphs, paragraphs. And everything I'm saying you could do with any kind of DOM element. And maybe we'll add some other kinds of DOM elements to an example that we make. But the point of what I'm saying is you have a lot of things on the page. And let's say what you want to do is whenever you take your mouse and you hover over one of those elements, it is highlighted in some way. So in the previous videos, we looked at how you could use this function called select all to somehow gain access to all of those elements by a particular tag or a sub-selection of those elements by a particular class. Now, one thing I think I should clarify, which uh, someone asked me in the time between I was making these videos, is where does this function come from? Is that part of JavaScript or what? So as with just about everything I'm showing you, I'm using the P5.js DOM library. But all the P5.js DOM library is doing for you is calling a bunch of native JavaScript functions for you behind the scenes. So this is the kind of thing you could do with P5.js. You could do it without P5.js. You would just need a different function. It would be like document.getElementsByTag or query selector all, sort of the more longer winded syntax. Um, and you might need that someday when you are looking to do something that's not part of P5. And I'll get to that in a video at some point too, because that seems like an important topic. Um, there's also other JavaScript frameworks like jQuery that have all sorts of selecting functionality built into it. But I like this thing called P5. It's what I'm using. Um, and um, so that's that. So that's where this comes from. Now back to the problem at hand. So what I want to do is be able to say, let me select all those elements, maybe by paragraph tag. Then I have this array of all of those elements, and I want to assign those elements an event. I'll call that event highlight. Now, if there are three paragraphs, I might be able to create a highlight one function, and a highlight two function, and a highlight three function. And I could just assign this paragraph this function, and the other paragraph highlight two, and the other paragraph highlight three. But that's really inconvenient. I mean, if all of them should just highlight that particular paragraph, why can't I just give this one function as an event to all of those paragraphs? So what I want to do is start building this in code and look at w the problem that arise and look at the solution to that problem. Oh, this is good. I'm excited about this. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> okay, so um, here is the, uh, uh, the example of, uh, that I left with in a previous video. And you can see in this particular example, there are a whole bunch of paragraphs. Now those paragraphs, they're all paragraphs. Some of them are members of a certain class. And one of them happens to have a particular ID. So let's start with the one with the particular ID. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to say, I'm going to have this paragraph variable, and I'm going to comment out the select all part for a second, and I'm selecting the paragraph that has the ID unicorn, and I'm saying paragraph dot mouse over, I'll say highlight, and I'll call this function highlight, and let's, and let's also add, in that function, let's add a little padding to it, because <laughs> I'm like kind of obsessed with padding, and I have this like song about padding that I'm working on. You might know about, you might have heard it. It was in a previous video. Uh, and then I'm going to make a function called, I don't know, unhighlight, which gets rid of the padding and sets the background back to white. So right, I have a function that takes that paragraph, gives it padding and a nice color, and another function that gets rid of the padding and uh, gives it a background of white. So mouse over, highlight, mouse out, unhighlight. So let's run this and see where is that, oh, this is the paragraph that I'm working with, a unicorn and rainbows. Ah, uh, what happened? 
Oh, undefined is not a function. Hmm, line 20, paragraph. Oh, wait, <laughs> look at this. What, what, is, what nonsense am I typing? I'm just like making up code. Wouldn't that be nice? So this would be an interesting feature for the P5 library, but it doesn't exist. What am I doing here? Those of you who are probably yelling at me or watching this video. What I want to do is at, call the style function and a, prop, a property of, of style in CSS that you can add is padding with a certain amount of padding. There's no padding function. I have to call the style function and apply padding with a given value. Okay, so now that I fixed that weird error that I made, we could run this and we could see here my mouse over none of these other paragraphs, but look at this, it highlights, it's highlighting. So this is like highlighting a paragraph as I move the mouse over it. So that works only for this one particular paragraph. Now, what if I were to say, aha, I can use paragraphs, right? I can say I want an array of paragraphs by selecting all of the paragraphs, and now I want to have a loop of all the paragraphs, and I want to do the same thing, mouse over, highlight, mouse out, unhighlight. And you know what? I don't even need to select this one anymore. So what I've done is I've said, okay, I've select one element and I want when you mouse over that one element for it to turn color, a color. And then when I mouse out of that element for that color to disappear. And that worked. So this is the code for doing that. These are the two events. Now I know I can select all of the paragraphs with select all. So in a loop, I could assign all of them to have this mouse over event and all of them to have this mouse out event. Is this going to work? No. <laughs> Spoiler alert, no. But uh, clearly, but, that, I would, but I mean, we're going to make it work. That's the whole point of this video. So here we go. Oh, whoa. Can I, oh, cannot read style prop. Oh, so, ah. So I meant to leave something else in there. So first of all, nothing's working because like, hello, in, you know, <laughs> if you look at this, what is this? Uh, the highlight function always refers to that paragraph. What is that paragraph? It's the one that I forgot to select by unicorn. Let's run this again, mm. right? No matter what I highlight over, it's always highlighting just that one, whatever I mouse over, it's only ever highlighting that one particular paragraph. Mouse over this one, that paragraph is highlighted. Mouse over this one, that paragraph is highlighted. Why? Because in here, the highlight function only ever refers to the paragraph selected with select unicorn. I want this mouse over for this particular paragraph to refer back to itself. Oh my, this is going to be a very hard problem, right? Like, how are we ever going to solve this? Here's, here's the lovely answer to this question. P5, ha, the P5 library knows that this problem comes up again and again and again. And so P5 is actually going to do something special for you. What P5 is going to do is when you try to assign a function to, uh, when you assign a function as an event, for a particular DOM element, if you write the keyword this into that function, it refers to the DOM element that the event is attached to, this particular element. So this same event can be attached to all of these elements and ma through like magic, it's basically magic, <laughs> through magic, the this keyword just knows which element is being referred to, which element the event is actually happening to. So again, this is, it's not actually magic. It's code that's written into the P5 library that assigns the this keyword dynamically to the correct element. And later in another video, I will show you how you might implement that yourself if like something like P5 isn't doing it for you. So let's come back to this and look at this. What I'm saying is I can put the keyword this here. So the highlight event is assigned to every single paragraph. It, this is a function that's called when you mouse over one paragraph or the other paragraph or the other paragraph or the other paragraph. When the code is executed, it's executed because the event was triggered on a particular DOM element and the this keyword will just refer to that particular DOM element. So let's look at this again and you can see now whichever one I hover over is the one that is highlighted. So this is kind of a magic way of assigning a whole lot bunch of DOM elements the same event, something that gets applied to itself. Um, by 
selecting all those elements with a select all function, by iterating over those elements with a for loop, by assigning a particular function to an event like mouse over, mouse out, mouse pressed, changed, input, all those other events we saw before, and by using the this keyword so that the same function becomes reusable for multiple DOM elements. Um, I should note, by the way, that this would also work uh, here. Like if I were to do something like, what's sort of nice about this is if I were to do something like var uh, i equals you know, 0, i is less than uh, 100, i plus plus, I'm going to uh, make, uh, I'm going to make a whole lot of uh, uh, elements, a uh, uh, rainbow, uh, and I'm going to give them like a random position on the, I'm going to use absolute, I'm just doing something weird here. I'm going to give them like an absolute position on the page, uh, uh, like 500, random 500. Look at this. So what I'm showing you is not just for the elements that you make in HTML, but oops, I have an extra uh, parentheses here, I guess. So you can see, look at this page now. This page now, I made all of these DOM elements called rainbow, and they all have that event also. So this is, I know I'm making like this like crazy nonsensical thing with like all these paragraphs, some of which made in the HTML, some of which made in JavaScript, some of which, um, some of which are uh, absolute positions, some of which are not absolute position. The point is, you can do all sorts of stuff now you know, this is the power of programming. Sure, if you just want to have like three paragraphs because it's they're these paragraphs from an essay you wrote, you might just put that directly in the HTML page. But if you want to fill the window with all sorts of randomly generated DOM elements and you want to assign an event to all of them, you can do it this way. So I've gone on for much too long about this. Um, but what I would say, what I might give you as an exercise now is do exactly this. Um, and maybe do something that I didn't do, which is that um, make a bunch of DOM elements assign them a given class, select all of those, and give them all the same event which applies some style to itself. And see how this, this keyword inside of your event callbacks will handle this for you. Okay, good stuff. Um, in the next video, I wanna look at the parent and child functions, which allow you to, while you're making a DOM element, insert it into a particular part of a page, which is very, very useful. Uh, and there we go. Sometimes this mouse doesn't work, which is the thing I need to press to stop the video, and I'm like awkwardly still standing here. Hi. Uh.